Don't let knee pain keep you seated. You still need to get out there and move. Let me show you some exercises that'll help strengthen the muscles around the knee and hopefully alleviate your joint pain. The first exercise we're going to do is just gonna be a leg lift. The leg's gonna be extended and you wanna be seated for this, either on the ground or in a chair higher than your knees. It's a leg lift, pulling the belly in and pulling the leg straight up. Now we wanna perform eight to 12 reps. or add resistance of a light ankle weight. Next, turn the toe outward, and let's really lift from the heel and the inside part of the quadricep muscles, drawing that knee up and lifting. Three more. The next exercise, we're gonna turn the toe inward and concentrate on the outside of the quadriceps, lifting up. Again, really sit tall with your posture. Anything we do on the right side, we wanna do on the left. So let's start with our other leg. Toe up, tall posture, abs pulled in, and lift the leg. Toe straight up, set a 12. Again, these exercises aren't meant to be really hard, but again, meant to help strengthen the small muscles around the joints. Toe out. After 12, turn the toe in and work on the outside of that muscle. Now strengthening muscles, we need to do as well as stretching the muscles. So first the strength, and then we'll work on the stretch. So now we're gonna move into that stretch, bringing the heel up and gently squeezing the heel to the glute. It's important to keep one knee behind the other as opposed to bringing it inward. And it's not so important that you get your heel up. You can always use a towel or a rope or extending and reaching your pant leg in order to get this stretch. Feel it down through the front of the thigh. Next, lift the chest, squeeze the glutes forward. So you're pressing the hips under and upward. Change sides, bring the heel up, squeeze it in, bring that leg behind. And if you can, lift up and stretch. Now this one may not be as easy to do at your desk. So here's one you can do. Take your foot and place it on your chair. Take your hands on your desk and drop down. Again, this opens up the front of the quadricep muscles and helps open up the muscles that surround the knee. You can put your hands on your desk to balance or go ahead and grab a pole or just balance through that leg. Repeat that exercise on the other side. Drop the hips. Squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward. Feel the stretch down the front of the thigh. This is also a great exercise that if you've been sitting on an airplane a long time to help loosen up your lower back and relieve the stress on the knee joint. The next exercise that we're gonna do is called a single leg stand up. So if you're not quite strong enough to do lunges or squats, this will get you there. You'll start with lifting one leg Bring the heel underneath your chair and press up. It's important that your chair is higher than your knee height. The higher the chair, the easier it will be. So until your chair comes all the way down to level with your knee, you'll keep working on these. We're gonna do 15. Bring the foot down in between each stand up. You can always hold someone's hands or put a towel around a pole or a pull on an object to bring you up. Halfway there. Three more. Come on, you can do it with me.
great job. Let's do the other side now. Strengthen, lift, and stand. The same holds true for this side. Push to the heel and stand up. Balance, feet together, and sit down. Halfway there. Just three more. Nice job. If you have the ability to go into lunges, if you can do lunges, this would be a great opportunity to do them now. Use the balance and bend the knees both at about 90 degrees. The knee, hip, and shoulder should be in a perpendicular line to the ground. We're gonna hold this one for 10 seconds. Better to start with isometrics and hold the movement than to move up and down throughout them. Hold. Squeeze everything in, nice and tight. Bring it up, change sides. Hold on to the ball or to a chair if you need help with balance. Try and hold for 10 counts. Once you can do 10, try for 20 and then 30. Nice job. My next exercise is ankle walks or monster walks. You can use a piece of tubing like a flat band by simply tearing it around and tying it in a small knot on your legs. A little more convenient are some of the circle tubes, the extra tube from Spry. This one has a little bit of Velcro that goes directly around your ankles, and you step inside the circle to perform these. These are gonna help strengthen the muscles outside the thighs, and it's just a bent walk side to side. Once you do about 10 side to side, then we're gonna angle this and let one leg work at a time. Make sure your knees are bent. So angle up, angle back. Perform eight to 12 reps. And of course, perform them on the other leg as well. Front corner, back corner. And one more. So side to side, or diagonals work really well, and you can also do these walking backwards. When we talk about the knee, it is a complex joint, having muscles both above and below it, and it is one of the most stressed joints on the body. So we're gonna show you a few stretches on the ground. Let's get on down. The first is a stretch called IT band stretch, and we're gonna use what's called a foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller, you can get a softball, a soccer ball, or some hard surface. Cross one leg over the top and start at the top of the hip joint, going towards the front of the thigh, just above the knee. You want to roll one inch just every couple of seconds, nice and slow, about six to eight times. Now, the first time you foam roll, you may not like it. It's a little bit tender on the tissue, but it helps to break up the tightness and relieve stress on the knee joint. So your knee will be thanking you. Sit. Again, whatever we perform on the right, we're going to perform on the left as well. Cross one leg over and roll. 
Sometimes it's a little easier getting down to the elbow. About five or six times, or about 15 to 30 seconds. The last few exercises I want to show you for the knee work the back of the thigh or the hamstrings. So the first one we're going to do is just a little hamstring curl. You'll start with your feet on top of a ball or your foam roller and lay all the way down into the ground. You'll lift the hips off the ground but keep the rib cage flat and roll the roller out and in. You'll feel this in the back of the thighs. We're going to do 8 to 12. And then the next exercise will just be hip lifts. Squeezing the glutes and lifting the hips up, working on the back of the thighs. Six more. The last exercise for strengthening will be just a slight knee extension taking a ball or a foam roller, extend the knees up, make sure you sit up nice and tall and work with the last few degrees of straightening that leg. You can add ankle weights at some point once 20 becomes easy. Really think of drawing the kneecap up towards the hip and strengthening the quad. Those are some great exercises to help strengthen the muscles around the knee joint. Remember, it's strengthening and stretching that'll help you stay pain-free the natural way.